and welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Gathered in at the 6. And down he goes at the 26. The Rams offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. quarterback you get used to getting popped pretty quickly he'll bounce right back up sellers awaits the snap he makes it to the 42 yard line decent effort he's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often he does have the ability to make guys miss. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's taken down at the 50. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes it out to about the 39. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. He's under pressure. They make the stop at the 29. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's at the 20. Tackle at the 15. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend.16-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. They come out in a five-wide set. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. We've got a change at the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. And he converts the extra point. A nice seven-play, 58-yard drive. 
And they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The Knights are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. the halfback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. Five wide. Quick throw. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. The defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 49-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Tackle made at the 48. fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he's tackled at the 42. That makes it first and ten. From their own 42 yard line. First down. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Knights lead it 7 0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Nice run there. Second six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 46. That's a great tackle at the 46. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. A 
the middle for a nice game. From the 47 yard line. First down. And he tackles him hard at the 48 yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They'll line it up again on third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Complete and he's hit hard. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Easily. Back to return it. And here's the... Wait a minute, the up-backs guy. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he throws it away. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he's leveled at the 19-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. And that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. complete he's got room to work he's pushed out of bounds right around the 38 yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that first and ten ball on the 38 yard line Makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Steps out of bounds at the 42 yard line. Third and six. Ball on the 42. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws out and through his hands. And that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Easily is back awaiting the punt.
Signals for a fair catch. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think probably the offensive coordinator take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's under pressure. And he's hit immediately. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. bring him down at around the 48-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Quick pass. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49-yard line. And that'll be a first down on the three-yard pass. And his quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. Throws a bullet. Incomplete pass. That makes it second and ten. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. down and they need to get it down to the 39 in the shotgun and five wideouts almost complete and he stopped immediately The kick is up. No good. He hooked it right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. To the 20. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It's up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Gives it left side. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. A great first half comes to a close. 7-3, Knights. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
It's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. Good job here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is as good. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. From their own 22 yard line, second down. He's tackled at about the 31. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He lets it fly. And he is drilled at the 39. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Throws complete, he's hit right away. That'll bring up second and three. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Fumble. The defense falls on it. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? the ground left side they go to the left for a nice game so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first now he tries
has to buy some time. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Well, that's a big game there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Five. They're knocking on the door. Fires quickly. The tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. And he tacks on the extra point. So a fourth play, 40-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 14-3. They line up to kick this one away. From the seven. Tackle made at the 23. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Dumps it out left to the running back. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31 yard line. That brings in second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. tackled at the 28. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes, right around the 34. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. quickly and it's almost intercepted they're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted not a very smart decision by the quarterback he had no shot at completing it he's hit and taken down first down From the 22-yard line, first down. Get to that quickly. As I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. The Rams had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a of four yards. That makes this is the eighth play of this drive. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. 
And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, but he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to football against his defense. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Nice gain as he works the right side. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. The Knights lead it 14 to 6. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 48. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Nice run there. About four yards and a counter to the halfback. That brings him second and five. He's got room, and he hits him hard at the 40. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Steps out of bounds at the 35-yard line. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. And here's another third down. hit before he can go anywhere. This is the 10th play of this drive. Slings it. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 24. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Waiting. 
Going to go across the middle. Potts, big play there. And now they're looking at first and goal. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Just under three to go in regulation. converts the extra point. It was a 12-play, 79-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Wesley fields it at the 22. He's taken down at the 30. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. They come out in a five-wide set. And a quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. He throws. That's incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And they got him. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play, and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback with his offensive linemen have after that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Roger, Roger. Mark four. Up, right? Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. When the first down marker is that far away, Someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. He makes his way to about the 28. And that'll be a gain of ten by the running back. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Here's the halfback. He might have a chance. And it pays off. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks 
like they're ready for the kick. And it's a short kickoff. Easily takes it to the 21. Tackle at the 27. The Knights have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. We're about set to start things up again. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quickly to the tailback. He's tackled at the 31. That makes it second and six. Under a minute left in the game. Spikes the ball. That'll bring up third and six. Right comes in. From their own 31 yard line. Third down. Zips it left. And he hauls it in. To the 20, to the 10. He scores. What a play. <laughs> and for Easley, he makes it 100 yards worth of catches. You know, this guy continues to make plays, and what this can do is force the defense to have to double team. And if a defense starts to double team a wide receiver, it opens up avenues for other wide receivers and also the running game to try to exploit the defense. They'll go for two in this situation. play 73 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion well brad right now this offense is hot and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense they'll bring him down at the 43 the knights are on a roll right now an absolute roll 21 straight points and the defense has no answer for it I think the defense has got to be able to make some adjustments after the last series where they were just dominated up front. Look for them to start to cheat up the safeties up close to the line of scrimmage, maybe leaving themselves vulnerable to the pass game. From the 46-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 28-12. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. 